Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 2015 Cadillac Escalade ESV. This is a premium trim. It's got 132,000 miles on it. Uh, it was brought to us by a customer who purchased a new one and didn't want to trade it in, so we're selling it for him. It's been very well taken care of. It's in really, really good shape cosmetically and mechanically. Uh, we can finance it through Cuddle. I can't put a warranty on it because of the mileage. Uh, and then we will take trades. So this is a premium trim. I believe in this generation you have uh, base, luxury, and then premium. And premium includes everything. Um, this was a $90,000 rig when it was new. The two um, notable upgrades are going to be the wheels. Uh, I think those were about $1,100. And then it does have power assist side steps. And then everything else, it's got two DVDs and all the safety stuff and uh, that you could put on these things. So it's really, really clean for 132,000 miles. I don't, I can't really, well, it's not uncommon with our customer base. They take really good care of their stuff. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this car went to and from California, which is why you have the miles on it. And it was up and down I-5, but there's um, hardly any wear and tear on the exterior. Um, even on the nose, there's hardly any chips. The tires are in good shape. Uh, so the ESV is the extended version. If this was just an Escalade, it would be the Tahoe or the Yukon. And this is the Suburban Platform or the Yukon XL, if you're familiar with those. So this is the third row with considerable room after the third row. Uh, pretty nice. And you know they've done well just because you can't beat them. There's really nothing like them. This does have power third row um, folding seat. So if you hit these two buttons, and one of the nice things about this is how quick these things go down. The German stuff is not like that. <laughs> it takes its time. Uh, and they come up quick also. So that's handy for loading or unloading purposes. And then um, you've got, there is four heads, uh, four sets of headphones. We have, I believe we have all four. You have a power lift gate, so you just hit that and it closes. So you can see, I don't think there's any, uh, this, well, there's uh, some very minor marks on that wheel, but all well, the wheels are in good shape, tires are in good shape. The windows have been tinted. Um, there's a couple of marks on the, um, the doors, but there's nothing uh, on the front of this. There's no chips. Well, there's there's going to be chips. I shouldn't say that, but I mean, for 132,000 mile car, uh, really, really, really clean and really uh, in good shape. So you have heads up display. You can tell by the cutout there. Um, another nice thing about this particular uh, uh, version is that it's got captain's chairs in the back. So you had two options. You could get captain's chairs or a bench. The bench makes it considerably more difficult to get to the third row so most people that are choosing to haul people around uh, will choose the captain's chairs um, there's your so you have an uh, audio control there you have uh, climate control you have a dvd player here and a dvd player in the back also so there's your door trim you can see by the leather uh, it's they're in very good shape driver side is the same so there's your you have alcantara inserts here you have both surround sound, you have blind spot. You can see by the, the, the car and the star right there in the corner, that is an indication you have blind spot on this model. And then you do have heated and ventilated seats. You can see the leather is in very good shape for, for the mileage. <clears throat> so passenger side seat is clean. You can see passenger side door. Dash is good. So if the older generations, you couldn't find these without a cracked dash. Uh, it seems like the newer generations, they've sorted that out a little bit. We haven't seen the same issues. So here's your window sticker, as I mentioned. So it's a premium package, uh, $90,000 build. And then basically you have everything, the steps and then the wheels. And then you have some floor mats and um, roof rack stuff. Uh, everything else is kind of minor. So phone charging. Uh, this has um, this is just from wear. That's adhesive coming um, below. They're separating from the pad. I do have a cover right behind here. Uh, I will try and get to installing that if I can't. We're going to sell it with the unit, uh, and it can be installed. So there's one of the um, that's navigation for the DVD. That's a headphone for the movie. You have USB ports here for charging, uh, CD, DVD, cl uh, auto climate control. So you have a uh, heated seat ventilated seat for both driver and passenger. Your media interface is up here. This is not as intuitive for me. If you're used to it, it's easy. Um, I'm not as familiar with these products as I am the German stuff. 
Um, so climate control, uh, text messages through uh, SMS, through your phone, through Bluetooth. So Bluetooth is there. Uh, I gotta, I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna remove all those actually. Uh, I'll do that later. Uh, so, and then if you wanna reset this, down here is your home. That will take you back to your home. And you can tell there's a very slight vibration uh, when you hit something. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Um, indicating because there is no there's no depression or anything uh, you can't feel anything give so you've got navigation uh, video so that's your DVD players or player Pandora weather uh, audio so you have HD radio satellite AM FM you can tell by two dots here you've got another screen oh no this is there you go so and then that's the front screen and back again I don't know why they do that but they do so you have suspension here, you have adjustable pedals, so uh, moving to or from. Uh, on the right, you've got glove box, so it's a funny place for a glove box, but you do have a, and then parking sensors on and off, lane change, traction control, delete. Uh, you have a multi-function steering wheel, so you have voice activation over here, Bluetooth, your stereo stuff. Uh, over here you have cruise, you do have adaptive cruise, blind stop. You have a heads up display, on this generation for GM you have uh, Toggles over here to adjust the display where it positions the brightness or the display. Um, 132,729 miles. This green, this is the only thing the car business has really agreed on. Uh, every car I've ever been in, that green light with an A on it means an automatic high beam. I don't know how that's the only thing they've all agreed upon, but that is universal for Porsche, BMW, Mercedes, uh, everybody, even Cadillac and um, GM so uh, a pleasant surprise you have a sunroof uh, I'll open that just so that you know that it opens uh, uh, hold on there you go yeah it's been very well taken care of mechanically and cosmetically you can see uh, I mean very little signs of wear and tear in the dash despite all of these have been finger controlled a lot of times lacquer or, or stuff wears off, especially on the old um, GM products where those were plastic. So anyway, super clean. Uh, if you have any questions or would like additional information, please feel free to contact us and we can be reached at 503-227-2354. And thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.